Welcome back to the channel. It's Joe and Lisa with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. So glad you joined us today. Um, we want to talk to you a little bit about our full bandwidth. We Very are, full bandwidth. Yeah, we, we kind of are getting busier than before we retired. Um, we, the whole reason for moving here was to retire. Yeah. So we're trying hard to... Uh, we're not being successful in our retirement. Yeah, we we have a bad habit, and it's probably more my habit than Lisa's, but um, we tend to fill up our platter a little too full. Well, and, and when I I tried quitting work early on, and, and I, was, I got bored so bad, Joe begged me to go back to work. Um, but you do have to find things to fill your day, otherwise you'll just waste away. But there's that tipping point when you put too much on your plate. Yeah, and uh, you know, I, some of you know I was in ministry years ago, and I, I kind of did the same thing there. I'm, I'm just a huge people pleaser. I like to help people. I want to do things, and so does Lisa. Um, we don't want to see people suffer unduly. So, um, you know, I in ministry I just blowed my plate too full, and one day I decided I was done. Um, so we're trying not to reach that point in our retirement. Yeah, yeah. So I keep keying on the word retirement. Well, and you um, have to look at why you retired. I mean, we retired so that we could enjoy life um, without being so decrepit in our age that we could still do things and that we could spend time together. Three, yeah. two. One of our purposes of starting this channel was uh, one, to, to just plain tell our story and our adventure here in Ecuador, and we want to continue to do that. Mm -hmm. And we also wanted to help people so when they came here, they didn't feel like um, they were all alone and, and didn't have the resources necessary to make their transition successful. And I, I would say that's probably very, very important. And that's been one of our goals is to try to give you the tools necessary to make a successful transition. Yeah, keep in mind, when you move to a foreign country and you don't necessarily speak the language well enough to um, communicate with people, it's really hard to find your way around or to find the resources that you need because in the States, you could go online and say, where can I find this? And it'll pop up all these stores. You don't have that here. You have to rely on other people. Yes, and so um, we've done, in, well, gosh, I guess we're up to about 200 videos now. Yeah. And so we've done a lot on uh, who to call for what. Um, so if you go back through our videos, it's all there, but we're going to list some more people in our description box here. Uh, for instance, Jose Abad, the taxi driver, mm -hmm. he's a translator. He can do all these different things for you. Um, we're going to relist his contact information in the description box. We're going to list the happy office in the description box. And uh, I think between those two resources, that's almost everybody you need. Yeah, um, there's facilitators, and we also have the website yes. that has the resources listed on it. But Yes, we do. Um, when we came here, we paid to have a facilitator help us get everything set up. That is a service that is provided by um, people here on the ground. It is a paid-for service. Yes. So um, we're trying to help you find the people that you can easily work with and that they will help you as much as they can, but it is a paid resource. And I'll just tell you, for the, the people who helped us, I gave them a one lump sum, a fairly large one lump sum. Yeah. Um, and I said, okay, but for like six months, you need to handhold me, you know. And, uh, and they really did. I mean, I called them and said, I need to buy this, I need to buy that, what do I do? Yeah. And... Um, and they were Johnny on the spot, did a great job. I should say she was. She did a wonderful job. She did. And um, uh, we love her to death to this day. Um, and she handheld us over a year. I think it was closer to two years. I mean, we, we used her less and less. But um, she did really, really help us and, and jumped up every time we needed something. And she'd help with the translation. She'd help us go find stuff. I mean, she found everything for us. She was absolutely wonderful. I wish she was still doing this, but she's not. Yeah. yeah. So I think, you know, if you reach out to Order Via at the Happy Office and her partner, Erica, the two of them can uh, probably arrange something like that for you. If not, Jose Abad can, can figure it out for you. Um, there are people here on the ground. 
And, you know, when you come for your exploratory visit, that's the kind of thing you want to iron out while you're here is who's going to help me with this transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're not going to think of everything. I mean, you mentioned the other day, where do you get your hair cut? I mean, even Vilcabamba is small, but who do you go to? How do you communicate with them? How do you set up an appointment? Yeah. So, you know, we get a lot of questions on the YouTube channel and some of them I just can't answer. So yeah. if I don't respond to you, it's because there's not really a response. <laughs> um, uh, for instance, somebody said something about who do I call for off-grid living? I, I just don't have a response for that. There's yeah. lots of people here who can help you with solar panels and things like that. And it's a, it's a, that's a very complex question. You need to talk to a builder like our friend Milton Mina, who's mm -hmm. an architect and builder. I'll put his contact info in there. Um, reach out to him. You know, he can help. Um, we don't have those answers for you. If you want to send us an email, that's just fine. We'll answer what questions we can. Don't be surprised if we don't answer at all because it might be we don't have any answers for that. True. Um, and don't wear out one contact. I mean, I one person that we have that's um, a contact, and uh, a couple years ago, he said, everybody calls me and asks a question, but they don't ever use my services. So if you need information, use their services, pay for their services, and pick their brain. And let me say, we're really so very uh, pleased that so many of you reach out and ask us what you can bring when you come for us. Yeah, thank you so much. We don't always need anything. Sometimes we do, but um, we've kind of tried to get everything we need here in this country mm -hmm. and try to support this country. But um, yeah, thank you for that. We, you know, we never started this for the money. Some people have said, well, why don't, why don't I pay you for answering? We're not in this for the money. Um, no. That's never been the issue. Um, but we do need to reclaim some of our time. So if you see us referring you more and more and just saying, call, you know, go to our contact list, go to our website. We have a website it's listed in the description box. Uh, everything you need is on that website. Yeah, I need to go and update the resources, but yeah, it's, it's there. and It'll be updated by the time you see this video. Simple update or simple um, resources, it's definitely a good, we don't mind answering a couple of questions, but um, you're not where you used to be, so a lot of your services are just not going to be here. So I put La Hefa right on it. She'll get that resource <laughs> list updated um, in her spare time. Yeah. So, um, yes, and, you know, when you come to town, I mean, you want to meet for a cup of coffee and chat and pick our brains, we're all up for that. That's, mm -hmm. that's no problem. Um, uh, but I think beyond that, um, the daily phone calls that we get are getting to be a little more than we can handle. Lisa's yeah. going to cut back on her baking. Um, she's been baking for a lot of the local restaurants. And that was just to kind of help some of them, uh, especially as they were coming out of COVID and didn't have a lot of employees. So no, we're going to trim that back. sugar makes people happy. So I did yeah. it to make people happy. We call her the sugar pusher. <laughs> yeah. And so we've accomplished the mission with that, let me yes. just say. Um, so uh, we did also want to discuss some things that are changing. Some things are changing with us. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we've got the photography bug and we both want to, you know, try to learn to produce better video and better pictures mm -hmm. for you and uh, so that you know you'll enjoy watching our videos even more but I think that um, there's some changes happen in Ecuador that um, we get a lot of question on and one of that is crime is mm -hmm. the crime going up without a doubt the crime is definitely going up um, is a new president going to fix all that I, I don't know we don't know we'll see we're in this like you are but um, there has been some talk about how do I secure myself. You are responsible for your own security. Trust me. The police here are not going to secure you. If you get robbed, they're probably going to blame you for getting robbed. Yeah, um, you had too many workers come to your house. You didn't have you proper keep, security. Shouldn't keep those valuable electronics at home, yeah. you know, things like that. So that's the kind of things. That's how the police are going to help you here. Mm -hmm. um, they're not. <laughs> and the laws here are just... They're different. Yeah, they're different. You're, you're going to be very surprised by that. Yeah. So uh, just be prepared to secure yourself. And, mm -hmm. and all the things that we've mentioned in past videos, that and more, we are upgrading security as we speak. We always are. We always do. Yeah. And, I mean, it's just as the world changes, think about where you're at um, when you hear a horrific crime 
Um, how can you prevent that from happening in your home? And implement different things, new things. So some of you are watching our local Facebook pages here, which you should be, the Bill Obama mm -hmm. community and uh, I think Bill people. Don't even bother with Bill Rant. Um, <laughs> that's not something you, you need to be involved in. Nobody needs to go down that rabbit hole. No, no, no. So, um, so that's a great thing to do is sign up for these local pages mm -hmm. and, and keep track of what's happening here. And I know some of you are reading those pages and going, oh my gosh, the home invasions. And <laughs> we're doing the same thing over here going, oh my gosh, look at how many, you know, uh, for what's happening in the U.S. We're just yeah. shocked for the crime and the things True. that are happening there. And You're going to hear the worst of the worst no matter where you go. People want attention and the way they get attention is to give you fear and um, lack of hope. Yes, and the, the crime problem here is very real. Don't get yeah. me wrong, it is real. Um, we never want to downplay that. No. In fact, we, um, we've heard it said, if you're gonna live here, live in a gated community, and I promise you <laughs> that a gated community is not going to help. Well, what we, is a gated community? It has a gate at the road going in. There is a guy that will, if you drive a car in, he will question you when you drive in. There is not a gate around that whole community. No, and it has been said that sometimes these so-called guards are, um, are in on it. <laughs> yeah. That they, uh, they make a little money telling people which house to go into in that gated community. You know, they say um, the same about any service provider. Yes. And it may not be that provider, but who that provider talks to. We don't know that for a fact, but no. that's what we're being told. And no. we're being told taxis are one of the worst. Um, but I will say that um, take all those precautions and understand that I don't care which gated community it is. I don't care if it's San Joaquin, El Atillo, they've all had crime in them. Yeah. San Joaquin, very, very recently, a woman and her daughter robbed in the middle of the night, um, slapped around a little bit, possibly some sexual molestation. Not sure about that, but that's what I've been told. Uh, but yes, yeah, San Joaquin has had plenty of it in the last, you know, 10 years. Yeah. Uh, Ella Teal's had home invasion, had robberies. Mm -hmm. It's happened. And there's just about every, because these places, you put a guard at the front and a gate and they climb over the back fence, which is usually yeah. either not existent or it's, you know, three strands of barbed wire. So, um, yeah, there's a false sense of security. You think a gated community is going to keep you safe. Uh, is it less likely? Well, if you are going to be off grid and live way out in the country by yourself and not have a great network of neighbors close by mm -hmm. and, in, and not install all the security measures that we've talked about, yes, you are going to be a lot more susceptible to being robbed than in a gated community. Mm -hmm. However, don't let the gated community give you a false sense of security. Correct. All right, well, I hope we, boy, it's a windy day, isn't it? It is a windy day. We're really looking for rain, but all we're getting is wind, but the clouds are moving, so maybe today. Maybe today. The wind's got to stop before it'll let it rain. Yeah. So um, I hope that we said that, you know, in a way that keeps you watching our videos, but um, understand that sometimes we just can't offer our time as much as we'd like to, and we'll offer it as much as we can and I have to be better at saying no. Yes, you do. You need to learn the word no, even if it's the Ecuadorian no, where you shake your head up and down. But uh, we, we on this channel do not want to be fear mongers. We don't want people to be afraid to leave their homes. Um, so we try to not do that. Um, and that's just not who we are and that's not what we are about. We're trying to keep you on the positive side of things, um, but give you the basic facts. Yeah, and, and we do not live in fear. So no. you know, there's people out there say, oh, you live in fear behind a big wall. No. Um, yeah, we don't live in fear. We're smart. We take, we take measures just like we did when we lived yeah. in Texas. We took measures there. Anywhere so. you are in the world, I mean, you have to... Stick your head out, see what's going on, and find ways to continue to protect yourself.
So, um, yeah, someone told me once the most spiritual thing you can say is no. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm going to say no to some things uh, from time to time. Don't take it personally. Um, Lisa, too, she's, she's got a full plate just taking care of me. I know. You are quite the needy one. I am. <laughs> so uh, bless you all. We hope that uh, you'll continue to watch our videos. We want to produce really good content for you coming up. Mm -hmm. And we're working on a lot of things to make that happen. And we need to travel because y'all need some travel pics. Yeah, you need some travel pics. we got to get away and go do that. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you share this video. Ciao for now.